Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code ONFEEV at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players as you can see down below. Check them out, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to Ernest welcome back to a brand new video. Today's going to be a top 5 high budget trading method video. So I'm going to be showing you the top 5 methods to do when you have high coins. So the first one guys is going to be a bit of a method to say invest in. So basically at the moment you'll see here, gold team of the weeks are around 50k a card. So if you look here, literally they are literally 50k. Any single player look basically. Obviously players like Cancelo are 50k. These might be deals, you know what I mean? There could be deals on here. This is the perfect thing to go and do. So first of all, you want to open a site called Footbin. You probably have used this if you are a trader. If you haven't, then I'd recommend you get it because it's a really, really good thing to use. The so Cancelo's max is 55k, which literally tells me I'm going to go buy this Cancelo. It's not a massive profit, but it's 55k. It's a 3k profit, basically, which you can't complain about, but it's literally three coins, you know what I mean? It's no, it's going to sell. And we want to put in here like 60k because obviously there's a lot of different cards. You want to go to like the 59th minute first of all, see if there's many deals up here. If not, you can put this higher. This isn't like a maximum you can put it as anything like that. I'm showing you like first of all how to do it like this. So you see here there's nothing else. So what I'd do personally, I'd go to 75k. That's my cut off really. And I'd scroll through here trying to find deals. So I'd skip to the 59th. This is the first method obviously. Get to the 59th first of all, or 57 let's say. Something like that here. So here we go now, next page we'll start from. So you want to go from here now and try and find deals basically. So Hakimi 61, say Hakimi ZH 61k, that's quite um, annoying ZH. Um, there's Hakimi. That was weird. You can see 70k for Hakimi is not really a great price, you can tell just by the consistency of them. Same with Mason Greenwood here, this could be a deal because there's only one other one up. I don't know if it is, I have no clue and I've just skipped the page. Um, let's go find him again. So he's not a deal guys, that isn't a buy. Like You can see by his hourly rate, he's around 70k most of the time, so you don't want to go and pick that up. You want to leave that and then move on to someone, maybe like a Kuna, I mean again, not really. You can just tell, you just tell when they're not deals a lot of the time. Um, you don't see a lot of the Mevo while doing this. Hoiberg here, 59k. Probably get 64 for it, but it's like a 1k profit. It's not worth the time for us buying it. Um, these PS sort of players are obviously really rare. Suchek, again, like you've got a team of the season. Oscar, same sort of story, just maximum 70k. And that's another problem. A lot of these cards are nearly maxed out because they're just so rare. Obviously, you can get bids going here as well. This is, an, this is basically the second method I'm going to show you now in the other one. So, basically, we'll go two into one with this video, which is pretty handy, actually. Um, so, we'll move over to that now, just as we get through these. Players like Carrasco, look, again, no real deal there. They, they, there are going to be deals popping up. I mean, you can't like, sit there and think, oh, there's no going to be a deal. I haven't seen any. Um, there are times where they come up, and they are good sometimes. You'll see, as I am starting a trading series very soon, you might be excited to see. That's a max, and that's a max buy. It's just basically they're so rare. And they're already max priced. The second one I'm going to show you now is literally this. So it's 60k in here, team of the week cards. You want to scroll through and just add these to watch this and just try and get deals on the expensive ones. So obviously you want to ignore players like Brennan Johnson, stuff like this. Or you can even go as high as like 80k because obviously so many are so expensive now. There's be a few extra deals in here later on. But you're going to have to wait for these. It's going to be something you want to do in the meantime. So obviously you want to go into here now and just go and get... I like, see what Sandro is doing. He's not doing a lot. Like, let's just leave him for now. Um, we're going to go and do a team of the season version of this now. This is the third method, guys. It's a very similar thing. It's a very, very similar story. But the, so these ones are like 65k again. There's loads of different cards. Obviously, Dumfries is 65k now. Silver's 65k. There's absolutely loads of different ways to do this again. But you can see they're just literally going for this price. It's like the max price there are. Dumfries is 62 Probably get 70 for him. Like, I mean, that's probably not a deal, but it's not far, if you know what I mean. Like, there are potentials there for it. You can see how many players have just sold looking at the base of that, like, for 65k. So, what you can do here now is you can either sit around at 65k. Let's just go and get this sandwich sort of while we wait. And I'll explain to you as we do this. So, 65k, you can either go for a minimum buy now, sit and snipe and try and get them. Or the other thing you can do is you can go and try and get some bids. So I'll show you in a minute. But first of all, Sandro's average is, I mean, it's very weird. I'd say he's 70k on an average. So you want to try and get him for 70k. You see there, I mean, he's literally going, it won't be no more than 58 for him. I mean, he's literally 70, 61 right now. You can go and buy, like, 62, sorry. You can actually go and buy some of these ones for deals. So 
We'll go this as a max price, just to just to show you guys. You can get 70 for him. Someone will probably go and pay more for it now, but we'll leave it there. And we'll go back to the team of the season. So you want to go and put this in now, 65k. Andre Silva was the last one last time. Eduard here, 65k. This guy's dropped. I mean, look how many different players are like, basically, there's so many different cards. Um, obviously, none of them real deals, but it obviously takes time. You can either do it like this, or you can drop this down to like 60k and just sit here at 60k and buy everything that comes up and hope you get a good deal. This is a way that I would recommend sometimes at prime times, like say 5 to 7 pm. It's pretty good. If not, you can go in here and put in like 80k, just like that, and search in. Obviously, you're going to have to hold these, again, it's the same story, waiting for them to come up, stuff like that. So, that's the third method, guys. The fourth one here. It's going to be the icon, so you can either do, again, it's basically two different ways, it's your choice. So the cheapest icon is around 80k, 77k, something like that. So yeah, 79k for Roy Costa. This guy right now, I believe, I think that is about his going rate. I'm going to go check again. Footbin is your friend, guys, that's where you want to go. But every time you're not showing a price, Footbin, it should be like drilled in that that is the thing you always do. And he's literally 80k here, but he was 85k at times yesterday. You could probably get 88 for him if you were bothered to sit there, but for 4k a card, I absolutely am bothered. I'm that sad, I will sit and wait for 4k, don't you worry. Um, but yeah, so literally you go in here and just list them up for like 88. I'll go see CDM on that one. This one's CM. We'll go 80 and a half on that one. 4k a card, I don't care. I'll pay you, I'll wait wherever for 4k a card. I'm happy with it. And then the other way of doing this, you'll see in a video um, yesterday of how to do the other method. I'm not going to show it again. I'm going to show you one final thing that you can do, though. That's I'd rather do that than show you. If you want to see another method, guys, go and see yesterday's video. That is my advice to you. The final one for me is risky as anything. This is basically one that you could do here. Is find a Path to Glory card on an average. Like, let's say Maratta right now. So this guy fluctuates between, I think it's about 120 I think he goes for usually 130. Yeah, so he fluctuates between 120 and 130. There are times where he goes to 110 though. So you could find him when he's at 110 and absolutely go ham, buy them all, and wait to sell him for 126, 127. I mean, right now, obviously, he's at a midpoint, so he's not at a real good price either way around because obviously 122 is pretty useless for both ways. He's not at a high and he's not at a low, so you have to wait for a certain time. But it's used for being guys, investigate the graph, stuff like that. You will learn it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. If you need any other tips, let me know. I mean, it's not a massive amount out there for high budget for me it's always icons like i always stick with the icons you can see here like i've literally that goes for 850k so it's a really good deal yeah sheen i got in the last video guys if you want to see that one go and check out yesterday's video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all